All right, so today we're going to check out the Erika air quality monitor. This was uh, how I received it, which I actually find very charming um, because it's just it's just functional, but it's also got a nice little pink it's pink bubble wrap, so that's fun. And uh, yeah, minimize the packaging. Um, I mean, it was in a box, but yeah, this was the packaging. So I'm excited to get into this and see what it's all about. Opened up. This is uh, the inside of the Erika device. Um, as I was trying to set it up, the I couldn't. <laughs> the troubleshooting was actually uh, remove the batteries and let it restart because it'll go into a deep sleep if um, nothing happens for a certain amount of time. So there's actually um, a couple of lithium batteries in here. And uh, yeah, I was able to pop those out and put them back in. Um, the device set itself up, essentially. Um, there's a nice like, sticky pad on the back here if you wanted to wall mount it. Um, it connects to the internet um, via a LP, LP WAN, LPWAN uh, network. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. So anyway, uh, Helium, like the Helium network. So I didn't have to do anything to set this up. I also got to learn about Helium because uh, I didn't know about that really before. So um, there is an app. There's an online dashboard um, that you can go and monitor the data. There is not a phone app. Um, but yeah, after pop the batteries back in, it literally set itself up. Um, which is amazing. And um, yeah, it showed up on the dashboard. Like I didn't really have to do anything besides a little renaming. So we'll click over there and uh, show you what that looks like. So here's the Erika website. Um, and I I was just, uh, I think, randomly contacted um, by Lucas at Erika. Erika. Thank you for that. Um, and yeah, they, they, they got me connected with the sensor and helped uh yeah helped get all this figured out so um if you're on the website you know here's the product looks the one i have um looks a little different and obviously this is translating um so i'm learning i'm learning about this um hosted by helium so they got they got some interesting stuff going on here so here's my um here's my building this is my sensor here um units are in metric so you know be aware of that, but um, you can check the configuration of um, these different parameters that we're monitoring. I don't have a PM sensor actually that that is separate um, from the device that I have currently. So uh, what we have here in terms of monitoring is um, temperature. We've got humidity. And uh, we've got CO2 VOCs, no particulate matter um, in this particular monitor. But kind of a nice little interface. The savings potential is interesting. Um, I guess they're doing a, a cognitive impact calculation on uh, potential employee productivity which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to edit that in here, but I haven't got into this dashboard as much yet. I just wanted to kind of put this out there and show. Um, and it gives a building health score here, so you could compare against buildings theoretically. 9.9 uh, .9 out of 10. feel pretty good about that. And then you can get down to the room level. Um, analyze room analytics. So last month, if I could just pick a day um, instead of maybe the whole month, I can see a little bit more granularity there. So there's presets you can select. Um, but if we're looking at this day, here's a health score. Here's CO2 over the course of a day, air temperature, humidity, Barometric pressure. I guess I didn't know it did that, and uh, and VOCs. So yeah, that's what um, that's what I know now about Erika. It's also easy to grab. I keep it close at hand. Um, and um, after finishing this video, 
I just um, heard that now um, they are apparently part of a much bigger company of another company. So um, that this could all change at at some point. Um, but that's that's what I got for now. So stay tuned for more.